Hmm, is it working? Okay, hi guys, and welcome to a pretty familiar screen. Welcome back to Operation Ice Hammer with Mud and Blood Recon. Uh, version 1.0K has just been released, which means the new things that have been implemented, and I just can't uh, wait to play them. I haven't played this game in a while because I was waiting like for like the new version, and there are new things that uh, are going to be here. I'm going to check them out. Uh, yeah, last time it was pretty rough. Last time I played. Our Sarge over here got really, really badly wounded, so we are going to need to replace him. But luckily, we have a, a new guy that uh, a new guy that we haven't used uh, and that it's high enough experience. So we are going to go ahead and use him. That will be it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and skip a day just to burn some heat and maybe heal up some of our guys. Apparently, yeah, all of our guys are now at max health and. Uh, Dr. Hood, if that's what his name is, is going to take him a very long time to uh, get back in action. So I'm very sorry about that. We're still in phase two. We're still trying to get intel. Oh, let me let me check this out a little bit. Hey, it's my video. It's my tutorial video. Wonderful, lovely, lovely done. Awesome. So yeah, uh, new things, we're going to go ahead and go with the cost squad customization and I'm going to explain what new things are. So the medic is going to have the same stuff. Uh, does he have an extra skill, I believe? Let's uh, put him in like spotting. Yeah, that will work out well. This is the raw combat action guy which uh, should have an extra combat skill right about now. The new sergeant will have to look out for, but for now let me check out the um, uh, radio guy real quick. I think he's fine. So this will be the new sergeant. We'll give him a better uh, rifle, and I think I'm going to go. Oh, that's new. With the XM177 because apparently this one is better all rounded than the other. Uh, that. Now let's see, we're going to give him one Stalin bag, one grenade, and the uh, ground control, and the camera. Yeah, that's what this guy has. So this guy, the smoke, there we go. That should be it. From the new things that have been implemented, oh, and I forgot about his skills. Uh, he's a sergeant, he needs to have spot. Hell, I'm going to give him all spotting. This guy needs to see everything before they see it. Really concerned about going in. I have acquired some heat from the last time. We've killed some enemies and we're really far behind with intel. Uh, let's do it. Uh, Alright. Pretty cleared area. Dropping down. We'll need to get moving very fast. Alright, we're out. Let's move, let's move. There are a lot of trees over here, but um, yeah, that will work out well for when we come back. And awesome music that's coming in. Okay, let's get moving. So one of the new things is now there is... Um, uh, you can now make secondary LZs. You don't longer have to extract the main LZ. There will be secondary LZs that if the area is like clear enough from trees, you can like pop a smoke and call uh, an extraction there. Uh, other new things is there's a new Viet Cong support unit now available, the bazooka. Gosh, I'm really scared about the mines, you know. Viet Cong personnel, I can handle that no problem, but hell, if there's a mine that just blows my squad up, I'm so going to rage quit it. Okay, I, let's try and uh, maybe hold out over here until everything quiet down. There's a nice rice paddy over here. Um, let's go ahead, activate our radio. No pretty standard procedure. This hasn't changed much. So yeah, there's request to dust off at the main LZ or extraction at a secondary LZ. Medic evac is not yet in, but 
It, they might never put it from what I understand. Also, the um, current antennas now do, do do stuff, not like in the past time we just changed balconies, now they actually do stuff. Uh oh. Red Kongs are close. I heard that. Too bad that we can't really. I'm not sure it's like the sound 3D surround so we can figure out where they are by listening or it's just it's just like that that would be really awesome I mean uh, if we like heard it from the right side it would be over here and from the left side over here but then again it's the rangers that are hearing it not you as a commander so I don't know exactly how that would work yep we know that oh god and this radio guy with this heavy equipment is not very helpful just really have to move like one bit at a time, I don't know. I would really like to get that 50% uh, cover without getting spotted. We haven't got spotted yet, but that guy is just heading right in our way. Okay, just move in. Slow and stealthily. And if it's going to come to action, I'm going to go weapons free. I no longer want to go. It's so ridiculous the close com combat action. I like. I sent three guys against one Vietnamese Kong and he managed to injure one of my guys. It was freaking ridiculous. It was like Bruce Lee or something. I already made that joke then, so never mind for repeating that. I might have stopped there. The trees do block the line of sight, but they also block for the enemy, so he won't be able to see us. I really want to get to this small hut over here. There should be a button, I just wanted to add that uh, real quick, so I'm going to add it over here. There should be a like stop button or something that you press and tell all the rangers to s just halt in their tracks whenever there's moments when you like find an enemy but you're, you already ordered your rangers to move to some place and uh, you know just clicking five and clicking them to s mm, press to move again they might still move a little bit and make some noise there needs to be a button that just tell them to j just freeze in their spot if uh, if things come to their worst and yeah, things are going fairly well. 6% of the AL covered. It's gonna take a long while until we cover everything. The Vietnamese Kong are still close by. We can hear them. It's really, really annoying. I played this game a little bit at the countryside on a few. Oh, he's walking over the rice paddy. I hear him. That's so lovely implemented. Wow. Oh, I've just closed that. Okay, so it's good. That means that he's like somewhere over here. He can't see us. I think we can move along and start covering the AO. AO. <laughs> that sounded... I don't know why it sounded very funny for me. <laughs> So that should be a thing, a freeze on spot button. I don't know which one should be because I, I think the space barrier is the pause game. You could basically pause and then just press to tell them to just to move on the same spot or something like that to tell them to stop but not really the same as actually stopping in the tracks. As long as we don't step on any landmines, we should be fine. I wanted to say this, that it's really ironic that when I played the game at the countryside, I wanted to go like full badass mode and just fucking shoot everything. And you know, when you try to like sneak away from Viet Cong, every little noise that you make, they just going to come for you. But when you want to engage them, hell, I had to throw like two grenades. One claymore and even call an airstrike before they eventually figured out where I am. It was just 
You know, Murphy Laws and all that. I was a vert for like, I don't know, three minutes and it took them a long while. I even started shooting and thing is your rangers can hold out very well by shooting enemies. The the bigger issue... Oh, and here it is, the 1.0k. I was wondering where the version shows up. The bigger issue is not the... Um, uh, the what's it called? The enemies that you face, but more like the heat that you gain from killing enemies. Because, you know, they just... Okay, they call the quick reaction force whatever. I just killed that as well. They, they were just dropping down like flies and... Only got a guy injured after I killed 10 of them and like that, but as uh, you gain more heat, they just send in more specialized units and snipers and stuff. And now there's like RPG units. I hope they can't shoot down the helicopters yet. I know that they want to implement that as well the, for the Viet Cong to have the ability to shoot down your helicopters, and the RPG would be a pretty a uh, fine way of doing that. That would be a bad thing of happening. Moving along, trying to find enemy assets. And basically if you don't find anything, you just like... Mm, don't have much in the way of doing. Apart from like killing them to get, gain some... Yeah, we did identify one hostile and even managed to take a picture of him. There's like the secondary missions have been more fixed up around here. There's like new kill cards that you get for like completing secondary missions. I have yet to find one, but hell, I can't wait to f have my first secondary mission. And yeah, stuff stuff is happening. On support for two mics. Which is just a fancy way of saying minutes, but why the hell would it say minutes when you can say mics? Oh, another rice paddy. Hmm. Now tracking has not been implemented yet. Which is good, because uh, in the future version they will be able to track you by your steps and not just by sound. I believe that going through the rice paddy should like cover your tracks because it's water. But at the same time I don't want to go through the rice paddy because it's just mixing, making a lot of noise. And I don't know if it slows down your rangers, but the noise part is like really... Really... Oh shit. Oh crap. I'm going to assume that it's just a guy working on the rice paddy and not the Viet Cong personnel. Is... is it... is it okay if I assume that? Ish, my rangers sure make a lot of noise. I really have to go like that. I mean, I'm not. Uh, I don't have anything against like missions that take 40 fucking minutes. But, um. Where the hell are they? Got it. I don't have anything against missions that take like 40 minutes, but I'm more annoyed when they... when I don't find any intel. Ah. Alright, moving in slow and stealthily. God damn, even from that small distance you make noise. How the hell am I supposed to move without making any noise? That... That... My last winter experience, I just saw this moving tree, I mean I was moving the thing and it was just a tree. But it, for a second I thought there was a fox. Pretty valuable in the last winter I have to say. 
用不了多久，一定会的。你要保持坚强，别跟他说话。Gosh, I so wanna go weapons free and just kill him. He might have valuable intel. I wonder if the trees like somehow conceal the noise. I mean, if you have a lot of trees in the way, will the you know the sound wave deflect of trees and m m might act like a wall? I mean, I know it covers line of sight, but will it cover like partially cover the sound or something like that? Make it more difficult to hear. Also, I'd really like to know how the mines are emplaced. Are they completely randomized or do they have some rules on where they emplace them? Oh man, I'm just really scared about traps. Viet Cong personnel, all fine. You know, Viet Cong officers, no problem. Viet Cong commandos, trained by the Soviet Union, pff, I can deal with that, but fucking landmines. Just no way. So there's no freaking enemy asset anywhere. There's a bunch of logs over here, but that's then nothing. A lot of huts, way more trees than before. So finding a landing zone will be challenging if you want to use a secondary one. If not, you can always return to the main one, but you know, sometimes you just have to take different measures, you know. Okay, moving down, we're still using the same tactic, just going down and just doing like that. I might, like, I wanted to do it like the last time when I just went around and then dropped a little bit inside and make like a smaller circle. So that way I would cover a little bit more. Oh, hello. Uh, just a small pond. And all these trees also make it much more easier to conceal traps for the enemies. Yes, for us as well, but I'm not really sure. Can, can Are there uh, enemy en engineers that can disable your traps? And it should you have the ability to booby trap them like in Modern Blood 2. It was real fun when the German engineers would just pick up a booby trap landmine and just blow in their hands. God damn, I'm a sick individual. Um, here's a question. Do rocks block the ability of helicopters to land? Because here, this area is quite, um, quite clear. I could call in a helicopter to land. Uh, right over here, but mm, I don't know about that rock. I know for sure that trees do uh, have an effect, but I'm not sure about rocks. Yeah, that's fine. One mic, I can deal with that. So yeah, it was like playing on full Rambo mode, I was like killing, they they already sent like regular Vietnamese army against me and I killed like dozens of them. And the only thing that made me lose the mission was when my radio guy just got hurt by the Cobra. I just got friendly fired by the Cobra I just called in. It was freaking unbelievable. And yeah, we will get to action once we get to phase 3. Don't um, just just be patient. I don't want to get in action before uh, too fast. Also, from what I understand, the heat now resets once you finish the mission. Of course, we are nowhere near that, but just so you know. I'm 
haven't played this game in a while, man. It's good to be back. As of yet, we have not been spotted, we have not been... We haven't went overt for no reason. There's one medal that I could get. That I haven't got apparently because of some stupid reason. There's the first patrol medal that uh, you get by um, covering 25% of the uh, AO and successfully extracting without having any of your guys injured or just hurt at all. I didn't get that because uh, in my first mission, if you guys remember, my guy was like he had the small like punch exchange of punches with some Vietnamese, which just left right afterwards. They didn't fight to death. They just like I punch you, he punched me back, and see ya. Sort of weird, but hey. No, they they like. Oh shit! Oh my god! That was way too close for comfort. Oh my god, my heart is pounding! Jesus! That's a landmine, in case you haven't figured that out. That is what just herbs your mission entirely if you're not careful. Whew, well, I guess that's one less landmine to be concerned of now that we have it on the map. We can easily avoid it. I don't have much heat actually, I just have like, I don't know, we killed four guys last time, we killed like a bunch more in some previous missions, but we also skipped a few days, so our heat level should be around five at most, it couldn't be more than five. But yeah, it's bigger than zero, so can't change that. Still no snipers, which is very good. So yeah, because of that punch fight that I had, I couldn't get the first patrol medal, but hopefully now I could get it if you, I could extract without uh, being uh, hurt until the end, I could like get the first patrol medal. Also, if I could manage to... Oh, and you must send a successful sea trap for it to count. There you go. So now if I would extract, I would get the first patrol medal. I think none of my guys have been hurt. Hey, we are not here for medals. We are here to complete the mission. Are you ready? Yeah, I make myself clear, goddamn. The, the, making that tutorial video was like... I, I really thought that I should make like a behind scenes of it. For example, there was like this face when I was explaining the used gear, so the combat knife, uh, some of the gear are pass, like the combat knife are passive and do not require active use. And then after one second I was like, no shit. <laughs> oh boy. But yeah, I just deleted all those things that I didn't use for the tutorial, so no behind the scenes. For now, I could cover 50% of it and then extract, but still 50% is a lot. I'll have to then go in and do the smaller circle as well. Oof. Where, 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 where? Uh, oh, that's a um tracks. I heard about them, but this is the first time I actually see them. They are not... they are counted like those, but I cannot collect intel from them, which is, you know, it's fairly obvious. I mean, unless there's like... So what do those mean? Like, enemy of Vietnamese went that way? Hmm... 
I don't know what to say about this because I read a comment on the forum in about the Silent Ops guide or something like that, and there was a guy saying that uh, he was explaining blah blah blah, nothing else. And if you and if you see some tracks, just run like hell. And I just heard Vietnamese, so I guess he was right. Uh, where are they? Can't see them. Shit. Hear them louder and louder. Okay, moving one by one now. That's good, but... Holy shit. Holy crap, how many of them are they? Jesus, that's a quick reaction force! Was spotted but succeeded to his stealth roll. LOL, that's a new one. That's awesome. Okay, let's take a photo. That's like... That's like a, a patrol. He was fucking right. Jesus. Oh my god. Bolak, good job on your stealth roll. I'm I'm getting out of here. No, no fucking way. I'm I am moving out of this place. Oh my god. So the tracks mean like a patrol station or a patrol route. Okay, we're going to move up. Hopefully they don't turn around. Okay guys, just move a little bit faster. There's still that guy over there by the rice paddy. Mm. And if we go overt by engaging him... Mm, these patrol guys will come then. There's also six of them. I mean, some of them might have intel. I don't know what to say, dudes. Haven't found any assets, so all the intel that we're going to get is simply from patrolling and from spotting, which is good. It is fair enough. Jesus, we're making so much noise. I just want to get out of here ASAP. Nope. I'm done. And I think that that will be good for like a title for the this video. If you have watched so far, I'm using something from the video. So like stealth roll, stealth roll. Let's play Mud and Blood Recon Part Five, I guess. How did he stealth roll with that giant equipment? I I don't know. He that's just way too badass to even. Ask about it. Now, if we just move fast enough and didn't step on any mines or find any Viet Cong on our way to the to the LZ, we should be fine. God, radio guy, you made me so happy with your fucking stealth roll, and now you just like move like fucking. A constipated turtle. I don't know how that moves, I just heard it from a cartoon. I think it was here, right? Yeah, th this is where it was. Clear. No trees around. We're going to get to it. Mm. Fucking... Vietnamese man. Okay, let's uh, deploy. I did select him. Shop. One mover in the area. Mm. Oh, he's there. Okay, just. Stay still. Fuck him. Just do it again. He 
he stepped on the... But the rice pad is a f bit further away. There he is. Alright. That was successful. Request a dust off at the main LZ. Oh shit. Oh, 17 seconds. That guy's right fucking there. Okay, just move. That's great. One guy behind us, one guy in front of us. And the helicopter is coming. Just keep moving. Well, he went away. That was fun. That was a good mission. Even though I haven't found any raw intel and any actual enemy assets. They took a pretty good picture. If we could, like, f capture all of them in one picture, that would have been cool. Okay, move out. Move, move in, actually. Just, just do it. Come on! Not that way, there you go. Right, moving out. Whew! That was way more stressful than the last time. Or maybe not, the, the last time I had Sarge injured and it was horrifyingly stressful. So, we got a good Reese, we got Ghost Squad, we got Undetected for 36%. And the camera bonus, which, whoo that's quite a lot of intel. And we spotted nine guys. That was pretty good. And we got the Reborn. There you go, the first patrol Reborn. Plus one percent to get ranked soldiers on recruiting and also unlocks one weapon, the M14 rifle, which I'm going to give him to the Sarge. So that's, uh, that's something. Yeah, I already know. No. Uh, that's a bug. Herb fixed that, so whenever you like exit something, it will do that. And two of our guys got promoted, which is awesome. Hmm. Not anymore. Whatever. It, weird. So yeah, um, one thing that I wanted to mention before I leave right now. So we have 33% intel. We're doing well. Our hit probably went away a little bit. Didn't get, gain any heat from the last mission, which is very good. Is that if you guys remember, I I basically upload every mission that I take, so you guys would go ahead and check out my my the uploads, and you see like uh, part three, part one, part two, part three, part four, part five, and then you go around and see over here like total patrol six, and you're like, um, where's the one missing? And there's that. Yeah, uh, that's a new thing. It's not. Uh, it has been for a few versions, but this is the first time I noticed it. Rage quits. Basically, when um, the game doesn't apparently record the mission, if you like, just go ahead and click out of the screen. I don't know exactly how it works, but um, uh, it does record that you have been in a mission, but it doesn't record what you have done in the mission. And I just went into the mission, and my radio guy was killed from behind by a. Vietnamese with the knife, just like humiliated with a knife, and I just lost my shit and just exited. So, uh, at least you know that. So there is a rage quit counter, and that's just ah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I I have to admit it. It's better to admit it than to hide it. So Bola could probably not be within uh, with us if we just. Um, Continue with that mission, but hey, we're we're doing well so far. Just one rage quit out of six mission. That's still better than most of Herb's games. And um, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We are progressing well into phase two. We'll hopefully pro get progress to phase three in like two or three more attempts. I don't know. We just need one to gain like something ridiculous. We need to find. Like two raw intel, have like 50% covered and spot like 9 or 10 guys and also take a good picture. But um, yeah, until next time, just um, hope you guys enjoy, like, favorite, subscribe and I'll see you next time. There you go, that's the outro. Bye bye. <laughs> Derp 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 der
Are you kidding? Oh, at least that's supposed to mean. Oh, he 